Six guys, three vehicles, heavily armed. My guess is they followed the Salamanca cousins up from Chihuahua, trailing the money, but not wanting to take these two guys on. Now, I'm no expert, but they had tattoos. Same symbol I saw on a job back east, the Colombian gang. Draw it for me. These men were hired. By who? See? Si. I trust you heard the good news. Gustavo, which good news is that? colleague has been released by the American authorities at a substantial price, but he's free. And I'm told he will be returning home to continue operations. That is good news, but coming south, you say? That's correct. Forfeiting bail is the only way to assure he remains out of prison. Well then, all will be returning to normal, and I trust your run of bad luck will be behind you. Bad luck? The DEA, the fire, the arrests. My hope is that it's over. Yes. I believe the coming weeks will be our best yet. Excellent. I'll pass on the good news. Buenas noches, Gustavo. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. I just spoke to the man responsible for the attack. Someone we need to worry about? He was trying to protect his own business by protecting our business. If that's him trying to help... He knows nothing of what we are trying to accomplish. Once Salamanca is south of the border, our actions must be unimpeachable. Any reflection on me will not be greeted with kindness. All right. Yes? There's one other thing we should discuss. Nacho Varga. He wants out. He's done everything we ask. He held up his end. I think it's time we cut him loose. I see no reason to give up an asset. Once Salamanca's dealt with, we have no use for Varga. He's the only guy they have running things up here. He disappears, Salamanca operation falls apart. Vargas stays. Better to control the opposition without their knowledge. You have a gun to his father's head. That doesn't sit with me. You want to keep Varga in for the long run? I don't think fear is a great motivator. A dog who bites every owner he's had can only be disciplined with a firm hand or put down.